Good holy everyone. I am unique number seven, Gerald Lebron, and I am tasked to discuss discovery approach. Here are the objectives. Defines discovery approach. States the underlying theories and instructional characteristics of discovery approach. And identifies the limitations and gives suggestions, recommendations, and learning tasks in discovery approach. For the background of discovery approach, discovery learning was introduced by Jerome Brunner in 1960s and is a method of inquiry-based instruction. This popular theory encourages learners to build on past experiences and knowledge, use their intuition, imagination, and creativity, and search for new information to discover facts correlation and new truths learning does not equal absorbing what was said or read but actively seeking for answers and solutions it is also referred to as problem-based learning experiential learning and 21st century learning it is supported by the work of learning theorist and psychologist john piaget for his cognitive learning Jerome Brunner for his constructivism and Seymour Papert for his constructionism. Jerome Brunner is often credited with originating discovery learning in the 1960s, but his ideas are very similar to those of earlier writers such as John Dewey. He argues that practice in discovering for oneself teaches one to acquire information in a way that makes that information more readily viable in problem solving. This philosophy later became the discovery learning movement of the 1960s. The mantra of this philosophical movement suggests that people should learn by doing. Here are the underlying theories of discovery approach. First, constructivist theory or constructivism. This believes in personal construction of meaning by the learner through experience, and that meaning is influenced by the interaction of prior knowledge and new events. Number 2. Problem Solving It is being said that if it is used effectively, it is a valuable cognitive learning tool. It refers to the individuals confronting and solving problems related to a variety of contexts. Some problems are well-structured, while others are not. It is important that students have opportunities to practice both types of problems by selecting appropriate problems and providing students with needed support and strategies. Teachers can use problem solving as a way to actively involve students in their own learning. What is discovery approach? By definition, it is a teaching strategy which aims to assist the students in finding solutions or answers to a problem or attaining a learning objective through self-discovery. Students follow a step-by-step -step procedure and in the end arrive at own meanings, interpretations, and conclusions. The teacher here may assist a student minimally in initiating the search for information. Such technique is termed guided discovery. Along the way, he or she may also question as reminders to ascertain the right sequence and direction of all the learning activities. Let's now go to instructional characteristics of discovery approach. One. The student gains first-hand experiences as they themselves explore in attaining learning goals. 2. The use of all the senses makes observation keen and reliable as they are actively participating in the learning process. Number 3. Since the student discovers what they plan to look for, learning becomes permanent. 4. It develops critical thinking. The skill in employing the steps of the scientific method is developed. 5. 
The joy and pride in discovering is worth all the time and effort spent. Six, such independent search can lead to full-blown research later. And seven, the teacher stays non-directive, thus developing independence and personal excitement as well. Let's now move to the five core benefits of learning through discovery. First is engagement, motivation, independence, retention, and lifelong results. It promotes engagement. Children are inherently curious. They learn through their experiences, solving mathematical operations by drawing on previous knowledge. As you advance towards teaching more complex mathematical material, engage your students in math talks. Instead of solving equations on the board and giving students the answer, have them talk through their process as they solve mathematical operations. It promotes motivation when your students are engaged they become motivated to learn a curiosity and motivation for math develops through this hands-on discovery method of learning it's no longer just the learning of math facts next it promotes independence discovery learning promotes autonomy and independence as your students actively engage in math and progress through the curriculum, they are doing so at their own pace. The autonomy of discovery learning allows your students to progress only when ready. This keeps them further engaged as well as encouraged. They are responsible for their own progress and move forward only when mastering each level. Even when working in groups or engaging in math talks, students must first think independently and creatively to engage in problem solving. It promotes retention. This high level of engagement leads to a much deeper understanding than possibly listening to explanations. Through discovery and experimentation learning, levels of retention are exceedingly high. Discovery learning emphasizes the importance of problem solving over the mere memorization of facts. Rather than merely memorizing the correct answer, students learn to interpret and analyze new information. This method of learning is especially effective when applied to mathematics. It's the basis for building a strong number sense. It promotes lifelong results. Learning through discovery isn't about your students absorbing what is said or read to them. When applied to mathematics, this form of learning supports a strong number sense and problem-solving abilities. Discovery learning is about actively searching for solutions, a skill your students will be able to use throughout their lives. Learning through discovery and experimentation is essential for developing your students' curiosity in mathematics as well as building a solid foundation of future math endeavors. What is Number Talk or Math Talk? It is a way of engaging children in mathematics every day. It can come in many forms. We know it can be difficult to begin integrating these math talks into our daily routine but here's the five easy ways to infuse math play into your child's everyday life when it comes to children's learning the biggest and top source of knowledge are parents as parents they have the most influence on their children's lives and influence that even more than that of teachers You don't need to spend a lot of time to have an impact. 
10 minutes a day is all it takes. Turn it into a game and you can create a memorable learning moment for you and your child to share. First, play with food. Involve your kids in cooking. Children love helping. And measuring ingredients is the perfect task. Baking cookies requires you to measure lots of ingredients, but you can also try something simple like measuring cereal and milk at breakfast. Ask your child to measure and pour one cup of orange juice and ask them which is more, one half or one cup. Use different sizes of glasses to your child to understand volume. The opportunities for learning are endless. Number two, weighing games. Dig out a scale and have your kids put it to work. Ask them to guess how much things weigh and see if they are right. Agree on a certain weight, say 10 kilograms, and have them put objects on the scale until they reach that weight. 3. Go on shopping. If you have to bring your kids along for a trip to the grocery store, put them to work. Can they determine how much money to give the cashier when buying small items? How much change should you receive? Help your child estimate the amounts. Estimation is an often overlooked but essential life skill. Think of how many times you use estimation in a single day. What time to wake up? What time to leave? How long will it take to travel there? All of those things make use of estimation. Next, go on a trip. We like to turn even the shortest of trips into a game and help make longer trips go faster. Can your child Read the speed limit signs? Can they read the speed on the speedometer? You can also talk about the different shapes of various signs or read the odometer at the beginning and end of the trip to calculate driving distance. How far is grandma's house? How far is your school? Your favorite restaurant? You could also use a GPS map service to take the games to the next level. And 5. Sorting Laundry Besides helping with the housework, sorting laundry is a great way to help your child understand grouping and organizing. As your child makes separate piles for whites and darks, talk to them about which pile is bigger. Can they guess how many items are in each pile? Older children can even dial in the timer on the machine. See, it seems that we can actually do the math talks. We can integrate math every day to the children even without forcing them. They are not forced. They think it's part of their life and they are enjoying it since it's just like a game. In the contrary, it has also limitations. First, lack of needed tools may hamper the scientific procedure. Number two, less capable ones may not be successful despite guidance because it is somewhat applicable for fast learners for they will enjoy and learn because they have that prior knowledge. But for those slow learners, maybe it is the opposite. Number three, it may lead to trial and error unless properly guided. It takes time if they do it repeatedly over and over again. So better to properly guide them. Having these limitations, we have these suggestions. One, make sure that all the materials and tools needed are available. Number two, caution must be taken in classifying the data 
into relevant and irrelevant ones. Otherwise, the conclusion will not be reliable. Number three, it is in the analysis of the recorded data where guidance is most needed. Four, the method is recommended for those who exhibit scientific attitudes and systematic work habits. Five, employ this method for those who possesses the necessary skills and are observed to be persistent in completing what they have started. Here are the suggested learning tasks. 1. Explorations about nature, landforms, and seascapes. Find out how noise favorable and unfavorable in the surrounding. 3. Perform an experiment wherein some variables must be controlled. 4. Learn the effect of weather elements on the growth of plants. 5. Find out the different gases that compose air. 6. Determine the minerals obtained from rocks. 7. Why and when a rainbow formed? Number 8. Identifying nutrients present in some fruits and vegetables.